Hello friends, today I'm going to explain you what is myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis is a classic example of an autoimmune disease which is mediated by blocking antibodies. So, in my previous videos, I've mentioned the mechanism of blocking antibodies. I'll link it somewhere. So this is the diagrammatic explanation of myasthenia gravis. Every nerve at the motor end plate of a muscle releases acetylcholine molecules which are green in color. They bind to acetylcholine receptors which are red and are present at the motor ends of the muscle. In normal person, acetylcholine will bind to the acetylcholine receptor and it will lead to muscle activation. But in a case where the person is suffering from myasthenia gravis, the nerve will release acetylcholine molecules, but the patient produces autoantibodies which bind to acetylcholine receptors. So it basically blocks the binding of acetylcholine molecule. This binding of autoantibody to acetylcholine receptor inhibits muscle activation. At the same time, the autoantibody which is binded to the acetylcholine receptors induces complement mediated lysis of the cell. Further, this leads to progressive weakening of the skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles weaken because the muscle activity is basically inhibited. So, after progressive weakening of the skeletal muscles, ultimately antibodies cause the destruction of the cells who bear those acetylcholine receptors. So, there are certain early symptoms of the disease which are drooping of the eyelids, inability to retract the corners of the mouth. So, if the treatment is not given to the person, the progressive weakening of the muscles which was the initial stage can lead to severe impairment of eating as well as problems with the movement of the body. If the treatment is given to the patient, the patient will manage quite well and will lead a normal life. So three different treatments can be given to the patient suffering from the disease. The first one is increasing the acetylcholine level. If the patient is producing acetylcholine 
and antibody we increase the quantity of acetylcholine so that it surpasses the quantity of the auto antibodies this is done by using choline esterase inhibitors second treatment is you decrease the antibody production if there is no auto antibody they won't bind to the acetylcholine receptors either you use corticosteroids or you use immunosuppressant the third is completely remove the auto antibodies this is done by using plasma pheresis meaning the plasma which has auto antibodies or antibodies in general you exchange the plasma with a new plasma so those won't contain auto antibody you keep removing antibody in that manner so these are the treatments which are aimed for myasthenia gravis so to study autoimmune diseases normally animal models are used for studying myasthenia gravis the animal model which was used was experimental autoimmune myasthenia gravis rabbit that particular model led to the discovery that auto antibodies binding to the acetylcholine receptor was also a cause of myasthenia gravis that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching do share and subscribe Bye bye